Let's talk about this SD40 and its conical burrs. I have my Barazza Preciso. I've had this for quite a while. It was my first nice grinder for espresso. It has the course adjustment, which you adjust with the lid that I've, or the hopper that I've removed and has the fine adjustment. It's a stepped grinder. And then I have this SD40 to the side. And I've taken the hopper off of this Brazza, and I've actually taken this adjustment collar off of the SD40. It fits into the bottom of this collar. So it takes a minute to take out, but I want to take a look at the burrs. And I'm going to show both of these up close. This is the Brazza. And it needs a much deeper cleaning, but this is just very stuck on. I mean, this thing is quite old. But there is the burrs. They're not very aggressive conical burrs. There's not a whole lot of cutting surface. These are kind of getting dull even, but I'm just not going to invest in this grinder much longer. I've used this for years. And then here is the conical burr itself. So pretty standard conical center burr. And let's grab this. They mesh together like so. And then when you adjust it down, it takes kind of the hopper to get it to adjust. But when you adjust it, this, this white collar actually kind of drops down. So that's the conical burr in this Barazza. Now, I did a little bit of research and I can't guarantee that all of them are identical and the same cut pattern. Some of these older Barazzas, it said it was made out of different steel, but I believe it's the same pattern. And if I remember right, I've had a Barazza 270 before, and I'm pretty sure it uses the same burrs, just in a different burr carrier. So overall, your Barazza conical is pretty much the same across the board, which you're really buying. This grinder's Achilles heel was, there's an adjustment ring in here that's kind of thin plastic, and you get a bean that was really hard, or maybe a rock, and it'd kind of crack to the side and it'd break this inner black ring. So then you'd replace it. The parts were really cheap, but it was kind of a pain. So they came out with some other grinders. So that's kind of the Brazza. I'm not saying it's good. I'm not saying it's bad, but it's what I have to compare. These are both 40 millimeter conical burrs. So let's take a look at this turn SD40. you can see there is a lot of cutting area, a lot of really nice machining. I'm pretty impressed with a 40 millimeter burr. These are obviously a lot newer, so they're quite a bit sharper than my other, but I've just kind of been surprised at how nice they are because when I saw 40 millimeters, I thought, nah, it's probably just kind of like a Brazza clone. And there is your center burr. So you can actually see there's quite a bit more surface area when you look at the height of the burr. They're, they're pretty similar. Let's take them side by side. They're pretty similar, but yet not. The Brazza just has like a really short cutting area where this SD40 has a much larger cutting area. So that's important to note. And normally you'd use this collar to hold that, but it just kind of fits in like so and it raises and lowers accordingly. So there's my two conical grinders. I actually have Another one that it's a lot more difficult to take apart. It's this GS0. It's a 60 millimeter conical burr. But overall, you can kind of see how these are a similar size. The Brazza and the SD40. 
Now, obviously, you'd have your hoppers on. Let's see. I don't have the collar on, but you'd have your hopper on. Your hopper's considerably smaller. But it's extremely small. It's a nice size. I've been really kind of surprised at how small this Turin SD40 is. It's a pretty cool grinder. And it's been making some great coffee. I kind of thought the Brazza, I mean, I've had some 270s and they've actually surprised me for how good they can make espresso, which isn't the easiest with just a cheap grinder. I mean, you need something that can have some pretty good adjustment settings. And even though this is stepped, there's a lot of step settings and the step adjustments are really fine. So you have the metal threaded adjustment collar unlike the plastic that's in the Brazza. That's always been my problem. I've replaced the plastic inside this probably six times. They, they're pretty good to send you stuff. Usually the worst part shipping. The shipping's like 15 bucks for parts. But I think this is kind of kind of like the DF64 was the niche killer. I think this is kind of going to be the Brazza killer. Brazza, it's still a great grinder. It's my first cool grinder that I had. I used it for years. I used it with this Giotto over here for quite some time. And it actually did great. I used it for years. But there came a time to replace it. This is kind of like my pour over rig for work. And... I was really excited to get this as just kind of the replacement for this since it's so worn out. Replace the gearbox and everything. I mean, this thing's really held up, but really excited. This is a really nice piece of equipment. It's metal. It's aluminum. I was surprised when I got it out of the box how nice it is. So I think you guys are going to enjoy it. Joe should be getting these here any day now. So I'll be excited to see what people think and hear about them. And... Just let me know if you ordered one, uh, subscribe, that always helps me. I'll be doing more review videos on like the DF64 in the background and some of the burrs. So just let me know what you think of this grinder. Thanks for watching.